Delegates in Copenhagen will get a look at Canada's Arctic tomorrow. A new film, Inuit Knowledge and Climate Change, is being shown during the summit. The Nationals' Reg Sharon joins us with a sneak peek. Reg. Well, Peter, it's December, and the Assiniboine River here in Winnipeg has only just frozen over. But if you're looking for even more dramatic examples of climate change, all you have to do is head 2,300 kilometers due north to a Glulik Nunavut. In the high Arctic at this time of year, the sun doesn't even break the horizon. And we'll try to do our best to answer your questions. Warm inside, University of Victoria scientist Ian Moreau and Zacharias Canuck have been using the internet to speak to the world. And to tell us what elders across the high Arctic are saying about climate change. They talk about when their world was the way it was and how it is different now. It's a picture of melting glaciers, thinning or disappearing sea ice, even seals with burns to their skin. You see some skins with sores and thinner hides, Elder Dora Pudluck says. Skin conditions are burned or deteriorated. And while scientists say there's no question man-made pollution is contributing to climate change, the elders are also wondering if something much bigger is going on. What we're hearing is that it might not be the full story. Uh, when they start saying our sun does not rise where it used to, it's something that we should be concerned about. Elders they interviewed across the north all say the same thing. Their sky has changed. The sun seems higher than in years gone past, says Elder Joanna C. Carpick of Pengnertung. The heat of the sun gets hotter sooner. The sun, the stars and the moon are all changing, affecting the temperature of the sea, even the way the wind blows. Inuki Adami of Ikalawit says he wonders if his world has shifted or tilted north. It's quite fascinating to see the links between, you know, elders on the land and I've literally been emailing with Nassau scientists about the observations that Inuit have around the changes to the sun, the stars, and the position of the earth on its axis. Part of the film will be unveiled tomorrow in Copenhagen, much of it presented by one of the most recognized Arctic climate change activists, Nobel nominee Sila Watt Kluchier. Inuit have reached out to warn the world of the effects of environmental change, the shift the world's thinking to human impacts, to human rights. This is the place to commit. And the irony of thousands of people jetting from around the world to attend the environmental gathering in Copenhagen isn't lost on these filmmakers who decided to stay in a glulik. We don't need to travel there and burn more fossil fuels. We're sharing our information digitally around the world. And Peter, all day tomorrow on the Asuma TV website, people will be able to watch films from the Copenhagen Festival and participate in an interactive discussion on climate change. All right, Reg. Thanks very much. Reg Sharon reporting to us tonight from Winnipeg.